In this video, I'll be showing you how to adjust the timing of any of the fusion titles, either the built-in ones or any custom ones that you've designed yourself or that you've purchased from a website. So here I have some footage on the timeline. So I'm going to add one of the fusion titles here. So I'll add this one here. And just kind of when using these fusion titles, it's a good idea to come into fusion and play it through. So that, it's, uh, so that it can cache. So you hear the green line going through, so let it play through once or twice. That will help to play back in the edit window. You also want to make sure you right click here and make sure that high quality and motion blur are shut off and that you have either proxy or auto proxy on. That will also help with it. Let it go through here a couple times. Okay, you can stop it. Go back into the edit page. And then you want to make sure in the playback that you have a proxy mode on and set that to say half resolution or quarter resolution. Again, to help with playback. And here you can let it play back a few times. Just so it's not quite so stuttery. Okay. So the point of this video is, if you look at this particular lower third that comes on, it doesn't stay on screen very long. Uh, by default, the entire length of this is six seconds, but it's only staying on a total of about four seconds. So if I want to adjust the length of time that it actually stays on screen here, just make sure it's selected, go into Fusion, and select it over here. And then basically we're going to change some keyframes to adjust the timing of it. So we'll come up here to the upper right and click on keyframes. And then we'll adjust this window to get some room. And here we can see the fusion title here. And you're basically looking for the one that has any kind of keyframes on it. So that's the image plane here. So in this case, you just basically see that it's ending way early here at about 120 frames. Instead of lasting the full 180 or close to the 180. So you basically just have to select all the keyframes by left clicking and dragging, kind of box selecting them all. And then down the bottom left corner here, you have time stretch, then the keyframes. So you click on that. And then when you come down to the end here, it could turn to this double arrow left and right. So when you stretch it out, that'll stretch out each of the keyframes up proportionally so that it will fill up the time. You can also shrink it down so it'll speed up. But now we can resize this window back down a little bit. Disable the keyframes. Come back into the edit window. Go to the start of the timeline here. And hit play. And now it will last pretty much the entire six seconds. It's a little stubby here because I did change it, so it has to cache here a little bit. So it'll be a little slow the first time or two playing through. But you can see that's now lasting the entire six seconds. So I'll do the beginning again and play it through. So you could both stretch out the time that, say, a lower third works lasts, or you could have it speed up if you want, or you could change pretty much any of the keyframes within it from within the Fusion page. Uh, this will also work with the built-in ones, so I'll delete that one. And I'll go with one of the built-in ones here real quick. Uh, let's go to this flipping two-line one. And kind of the same thing, go into the Fusion tab. Make sure you have it selected. Come up to keyframes. Now there's not much here, so you can see that you have you see the keyframes right here under the flipper. So if you want to adjust any of these, the timing of it, you can either adjust the individual keyframes if you want. So the different parts of it, you can speed up or slow down, or you can adjust them all again with the time stretch. So you're basically just looking for any anything within that Fusion title that has keyframes, and then you can change the duration of it and the timing. You could also go into, if you don't want to go into keyframes, you could also go into the spline. Here, I'll turn off the keyframes. And then within the spline, you could do the same thing, go to the flipper, and then we can go to here, the best fit. 
and can again kind of give a little bit more room but then we can adjust any of these keyframes and also adjust uh, kind of the curve so if you want to select one of these hit T that'll give you the ease in and ease out and then you could change that so you could change the shape of the curve and you can do that with any of these points and we're done just uncheck that and then go back to your edit page and any of your changes any timing changes you made will be reflected here in the edit page so that's how you adjust the timing of your any of the fusion titles again either the built-in ones or any custom ones you've either made or downloaded and hopefully you found this video useful and i thank you for watching